What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on this uh, on my YouTube channels, uh, the Kill Pete Strategy. I have a daily release on Free Pete. I do occasional streams on Twitch once in a while. I like to talk about strategy. I like to talk about philosophy. Talk about game theory. And I like to send out generally good vibes when I can. We obviously can't always, but uh, it's important for you guys to know that you are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, yeah, and if you're interested in some of that or all of that stuff, come along the ride with me. Give me the sub. We are playing. Australian New Zealand Advanced. This is fixed 70. This is game one, potentially three. If I don't win game one or game two, I play all three. Uh, it's winner advances, but we have to outplay the other player in the bracket. And I'm paired up against Truth Powers. So I have to outplay Truth Powers in the other semis group. And boy, howdy, isn't he someone to be paired against, right? Fantastic play. Okay, so Driz wants Lena to leave. I am playing as purple. We don't often see me play as purple, so. Driz didn't take this. I probably smack that turn one. What are my other options for a turn one bonus? Uh, this. This one's better. But uh, Lena Kitty's going to smack me here, so I won't have that. Lena's going to go pop right there. That's a two territory plus four with that blizzard. If Lena doesn't see it, I'll be shocked. Lena's really, really good. Two territory plus four, she smacks that. Right? Called it. She smacks that. But Lena does not want to roll a 5v2. Get that 8%, uh, 9% chance that you bust out. How much does it matter? Yeah, Lena does not want to roll the 5v2, which means I get the 2 Nah, <laughs> she's going to roll it. Wah -wah! Good job. <laughs> Wah -wah -wah! Yep. Walks out of Driz's bonus, so that is a plus five he's trying to take. Wow, really good start for Lena. And blue player, gonna smack my two. That's Patrick. Yup. We're down to 15 troops already. Yeah, everyone's just smacking the shit out of me. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty short game. Do get a turn one bonus, so hopefully we can catch up from here. Okay, we lose one. And we lose one on both rolls. Unfortunate. Okay, the bonus I'm taking is worth plus two. I'll show you the bonus. You have a three for two with the blizzard, Kimberly. You have Arnhem Land, the girl with the island. Far North Queensland, also worth plus two. North Island, New Zealand, worth plus four. South Island, worth plus four. Victoria, Tasmania, worth plus four. And Eastern, New South Wales. Already really good at a three for four, but on this map is a two for four. Western New South Wales, plus three. South Queensland, plus five. Gulf, plus three. Top end, Central Australia, worth plus two. South Australia, worth plus five. And greater Western Australia is worth plus six, if you can hold it. Okay. And Riedel takes Victoria and Tasmania. Uh, leaving Leona with, if I'm Leona, what do I do? Um, I'm Leona. We see Leona take South Island. Okay, that six is going to go up. And this six is going to hook around. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and South Island with four. Board. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am the short stack by a lot. <laughs> I lost twos, multiple twos in the open, and I lost two dice on that roll. Driz going to take a plus five. I need to leverage this into a second bonus or else I'm dead. Ideally, we want that second bonus in another position. We're playing fixed 70. Okay. Lena Kitty going to take another hit another two of mine. Yeah, there's really no upside for me to be good neighbor. 
Because I'm just going to get eaten here. Okay. Do we see Patrick steal the plus four? No, I see what he's doing. Oh, and we do see a loss on the 5v2. Yeah, Lena trolls him too. She trolls him with the surprise face. A little psychological warfare. Okay. Patrick reasonably short stack now, not as bad as me still. Okay. At least we do hold a bonus. Uh, I like putting troops out there on the other side. I want to maintain a position on North Island. And nobody seems to claim it. I'm in the deep pocket of a four stack, not just going to get randomly smacked now. And anyone's going to think twice about trying to take it. Does Riedel break? No. Riedel takes the top bonus here. So Riedel's going to have this and this, which is really good. This is fixed. So maybe I get cards here. Okay. If I catch a cavalry, I'll be able to catch back up. Then I'd probably take Western Australia. If I don't catch cavalry, I'm probably toast. We'll see. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out how many territories on this map uh, it is. Australia, New Zealand, advanced. So, plus 72, uh, 71, 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65. So it's 65 territories times 0.7. Did I do the math right? One, two, three, six, seven. Into 65 times 0.7. So magic number is 46 to take. 46 will get you. Uh, we'll capture the 70 and get the W. And Driz does hold the plus five. So uh, Leona and Driz are the troop leaders right now. If I was Leona, I would have considered um, trying to flank here. I'm going to focus on the left-hand side now. And see if I can snag Western Australia but while still investing at least a troop. In, oh, I forgot. The uh, the New Zealanders told me what this territory was called or how it was pronounced in, in the Maori name, but it does escape. Okay, Driz going to go down. He's just trying to dominate in the middle position. Just smack the Leonis three. He is. I think he is. I think he is. What is that? No, not yet. He doesn't want to smack the three. He wants to negotiate with her. Right. Yeah, so uh, Lena Kidding now in a dominating position, getting plus 10 a turn. I think that's it, right? I think that's game right there. I don't think anyone's going to be able I mean, Riedel's doing okay too. Don't put troops out there. <laughs> don't put troops out there. Lena! <laughs> Thinking about it.
Oh! Oh, so nice! So nice and friendly! Gets the card! Oh, ho, 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 ho. So nice and friendly. Wow! Not allied with Patrick for some reason. <sighs> I think we do want to hit. This, maybe not yet. Give him a chance to do something with it. I don't know. <coughs> Patrick's two bonuses should be fine. Real game plus 10, same as, as uh, Lena. I don't know. It's bad sitch. Bad sitch for me. Don't know how I'm going to get back. Reels at 38 troops already. That's ridiculous. Ridiculously strong. We do not pull the cavalry. All right. Not good. If I had a set here, I could consider doing something. But getting a, a plus two and not being able to expand past that, I'm fucked. Maybe Leona uses the two. Maybe she stacks on the three in the middle. Maybe she backs off from Driz. Remain the short stack. Want to smack me a little? Get that 2v1 in there. Leona knows how I play. What's Patrick generating now? Plus five. Using up her whole clock. And okay, makes me hit a two. Yep. Fair enough. Oh, and backs off for Driz. Wow. And backs off for Driz. Driz already in a strong lead. The strong get stronger. Hey, Lena Kitty looks like they are very well lined up on a 70 run. And a little bit more. This game's going to become very strategic and positional once the bonuses are all organized. Wish I had a set on three. I might not survive. <sighs> Please use that three. Thank you. All right, somehow I've... <laughs> Thank you. The manualing? Oh, no. Oh, what a guy. What a guy, this guy. Folks, gonna let me take a plus six. I am gonna take it with aplomb, folks.
<laughs> Leona's like, ah, oops. What do you mean, oops? Why is that an oops? <laughs> Letting me have it? Come on. I can't have it. You're not going to let me catch up. I don't deserve a plus six. <laughs> I got fucking half of Riedel's trips again with this shit. Riedel gets away with murder. <laughs> Did I at least get a set? No, we're sitting on fucking five cards. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Twenty one percent of the board. Somehow with the fewest troops, we're holding the most territory. Now, interesting question. Does someone smack me out of this? What do you do if you're Riedel? I think Riedel's in a dominating really, really solid open. Fully 20 troops ahead of me by the fourth turn. Driz as well end up to clean this pocket with that 10 stack, but it is on the portal. Is real going to take another bonus? They're suspenseful. All these players are excellent. Uh, shout out to Lena Kitty. Lena just crossed into third place overall in the Saber system. If you guys aren't familiar, Friends of Risk, you go to uh, ranking, friendsofrisk.com slash ranking. You'll get the current um, assessment of our tournament performers. And Lena has crossed thanks to recent um, finals and wins. Lino's crossed into third place in the world at 7,239 points in the Sabre system at the moment. Okay, Leo using up all of her clock. What do we see? Okay, puts all exterior. Takes the plus two from Riedel. She's going to give Riedel. What's the trade here? Riedel's going to get a plus three. Lose plus two, gives a plus three. Okay, Driz is guarding in, in 670. I don't know that I agree. Okay, that's not guarding. That, okay, I see what he's doing. So this portal line connects to exterior positions for him to run the 70. This goes strictly this way and or blocks against Lena's run, which might come soon. Again, what do we need? 46, is it? Forty six to take. And I'm sitting at twenty one percent. One, two, three, four, seven. So you're fourteen. I wonder who goes for it. I think anyone who's going to go for it is going to get it at uh, at a lobby this skilled. <coughs> okay, Patrick takes a 10 trade on four. Lena Kitty went to five cards. Yeah. Yeah, good enough. 
I'm happy with that. Okay, so we want... This is good. We want a five. We want a five. We want probably like a seven. And then the middle position is actually the one I want to put troops on. Um, Because this is the retaliatory stack in the middle board slash the stack I'm going to use to capture. Uh, at some point, I actually want to step out off the five and not give that ground back. That just gives me another territory in the count. Uh, I assume we have a set now. Is it good? It is a good set. Okay. Yeah, Riedel does take the plus three. Cool. Okay. I actually don't get much equity. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to break you. I actually really like... Leona's move with the steel. <laughs> it's real a better bonus. Um, but it also gives Leona a second bonus, which she really needed. So who doesn't have two bonuses? Lady Kitty does, Real does, Driz does, I do. Uh Patrick does. You know, everyone has two bonuses. Good enough. Really nice. Generous sharing. Okay. Leona. Couple of troops locked up. She's yeah, she's gumming up her side of the board. The old peepman still the short stack at thirty six troops. Okay. Are we seeing some blocking occur? Okay. Okay, Lena gets a low set. Assuming Western Australia holds, I, I catch back up into the game now. Though it was... It was fairly aggressive negotiating that I was trying to do, but with Patrick, Lena, and uh, Leona on the left-hand side to take that, but uh, because I was allowed to take it, I'm now not just dead. And I think if I, if I didn't get that plus six when I did, I would be just dead. So we stabilize. Okay, Patrick is also gumming up his section. which means this game is going to take a long time. <coughs> okay, we get 12 for our natch. We also get a 10 trade. Driz wants a card. That's Driz's only card. What's in it for me? Something better be in it for me, Driz. You want to ask me to do you a favor? Something better be in it for me. Yeah, okay. <sighs> what, did Riedel get a shitty trade too? I wouldn't troll these people. <laughs> I don't see it as why. There's being starved for cards very interesting. I mean, what's in it for me is him not breaking my bonus, though. So. <laughs> Does Real have cards? Yeah. Real has cards up in North Island. Yeah. 62. 
still in the lead. But we are no longer the short stack. We have another 10 trade. This 10 doesn't do anything. I need to put that in a different place. Put it down here, maybe. That nah, doesn't do much. It doesn't do much down there either. We're in for a uh, fairly long stalemate now. I think I think the stalemates, but not doesn't go to time. Um, once the numbers get big enough, one of these players goes for a run and either fails and feeds it to the next guy or, or wins the game. Game two. Ooh, Driz with a big stack on the portal. I wonder, maybe Driz is getting ready. To do something spicy. All right. <sighs> this is how we got along the action. We can do a Q&A question. Uh, our most recent priority Q&A question is from Tobias Maelstrom. Hello. Is Lena going to sit there? Is going to sit there. Yeah. All right. Tobias says, Pete, I have a philosophical question for you. I love it. Let's go. One of my favorite things to talk about. Uh, what is your take slash thoughts on the concept of tabula rasa? Tabula rasa is a Latin term meaning blank slate for those of you who are not philosophy people. Uh, the definition scraped tablet is the literal translation. Often translated as blank sl slate is the notion that the human mind receives knowledge and forms itself based on experience alone without any pre-existing innate ideas that would serve as a starting point. Nature versus nurture, but from a data-minded viewpoint. A newborn is neither given any innate knowledge of the world at birth, nor do they receive it miraculously on the way to adulthood. Their muscles and brain chemistry might be more initially inclined to develop towards X or Y. There is no code uh, given to learn X or Y. Let me just put some troops down. And let's pivot this off, because if Driz is going to smack me, Driz is going to smack me. Uh, a newborn is, is neither given any innate knowledge of the world at birth, nor... Do they receive it miraculously on the way to adulthood? Their muscles and brain chemistry might be more initially inclined or developed towards X or Y, but there is no code to learn X or Y, just the potential to learn or absorb or do in a more efficient way than their counterparts. You needed to uh, summarize that last sentence. It, it got uh, uh, confounding. Thoughts? Agree, disagree, why? Okay, my thoughts on the concept of tabula rasa. This was originally... Uh, um, brought into the forefront by John Locke. Um, John Locke, famously um, one of the forerunners of uh, empiricism and the utilitarian viewpoint of ethics. So what you want to think about is, are babies born blank? Well, they're born blank of experience, but... I would say that they're not born blank of potential. We are. We often hear in in pop science uh, terminology of the like um, that children are like sponges, right? And the way our neuroplasticity works is we are the most flexible when we are young. Sixty nine. I love that. 
<laughs> That's very funny, Driz. We're the most flexible when we're young. Um, and as we age, the depths of our uh, habituation and patterns tend to, you know, somewhat ossify the, the, the things we like to do become more and more consistent. Um, so I would say, and then, then of course you have all the things that are very far from blank. You have the fact that your body plan would lead you to be a man or a woman. You have the fact that, you know, your skin would be a particular color. Uh, your eyes would be a particular color. Your hair would be a particular color. You would have a certain amount of intelligence. Um, what else could we talk about that are genetic, right? Like there's, there's all sorts of factor you're, you're you're predisposed to certain forms of disease certain types of cancer etc certain forms of addiction rather than others you're, you're, you might be predisposed to um certain types of mental illness like anxiety or depression also all of these things are not certain right they're not guaranteed but they aren't but it's not blank it's not like you could compare one baby to another and they're interchangeable and then the only thing that would matter would be their experiences, right? That's not true. So, okay, Patrick takes the four trade wisely. Lena oops, because Lena doesn't have a card. Problem. Why is Lena oops? I'm trying to figure, trying to figure it out. So, what do I think of the tabula rasa? Well, I, I think there's, you know, there's obviously the the things that make up your your nature. Um, are fixed and you really you really will find that your life is dictated by many of those sorts of things I'll, like a, a quick example i would say so i'm six feet tall i'm a six foot tall man the world is built to my scale and i take that totally for granted like a shorter person would just struggle or a taller person would just struggle to do natural normal things I, my best friend is six foot nine and he is constantly hitting his head um or, you know, my, my, my girl's a short person. So it's just like struggling to reach. And it, it's something that I take so for granted um, that it, it doesn't even really register. I don't want to do that. I probably do want to do that. All right, so I have a 420 stacks basically ready for Smackerino time, but I don't think Smackerino time is coming anytime soon. Um, how do I answer your question, Tobias? What's my take? Uh, I think it's an oversimplified take, right? I don't think we are blank. I think we are predisposed. And your circumstances definitely matter as well. They matter a lot, but... You cannot escape the slate. So you, if you are, if we're going with the metaphor, if you are the slate, um, that is your nature. That is your form. That is your frame. There's no getting out of that. So we have to work within the confines of our nature and try and maximize the value, the utility, the enjoyment, the all maximize the love you can give, maximize the happiness you can create the joy in this world, right? Given that no two slates are created equal. Or to use a different metaphor, you're, play, you're, you're, you're playing a similar game as other people, but you got dealt a hand and you got to play that hand the best you can. No one to hold them, no one to fold them, so to speak. How the fuck am I almost in the lead on this board? Driz is the only player with more truths than me. We turned that one around, didn't we? <laughs> the luck... Giveth and the luck taketh away. I am wondering how I will be able to get 46 territories. <sighs> cool settings. They're long, but everyone playing a very good neighbor version of this.
We've got a lot of trading going on in the middle of the map. Not sure about Patrick's stacks the way they are. I think the, the blockers are trying to make it so that when people do go for a run, they don't go through their territory. Riddle's like, oh no, don't break me, Pete. I'm not going to fuck up. Oh no, he's crying about the, the set. He got shitty card luck again. Okay, how's my card luck? My card luck's been reasonably good. But I think the, the key move this game was negotiating aggressively to get people out of that bonus. It's a lot of free territories for Driz. Nobody else can really get there um, except for Driz now, right? You see how I've blocked this entry, blocked-ish that entry, blocked-ish that entry. So the only real way in is through Driz. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're big territories. So it looks a lot more substantial than six territories visually. But those six territories that are all singles now... And as I block up this up here, uh, Hull's Creek, I'm going to make sure that I can position myself to capture when the time is right, but we're not quite there yet. My opponents still have a lot of troops. I'm going to have to, I am in the lead in terms of troops though. So yeah, I'm going to have to surpass maybe Leona puts in a set here and is over a hundred, but going from, uh, Going from zero to hero feels pretty good. Let's see if I fuck this up, though. A lot of players got a lot of troops. Okay, Drill's drill still at 105. 46 on the portal, though. That stack is ready to rock. I think Driz might be the one who goes for the run. Alina Kitty also with just massive punchers. Lena's ready to capture. Lena's not trying to block anything. Yeah. Cool. I'm happy to play my turns quickly because I'm now in a winning position with inevitability. But I don't think we, as I said, I don't think we reach the inevitable. I think someone does take, take their shot. All right. Yeah, Leona really spending lots of time in draft. Yeah, okay. I 
I wonder if Kuna Mullah connects to Dubbo. Can I go that way? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Set? Do set? Can I place another twenty stack? I think I'm close. I get to 46. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have 14. 16. 16 maybe. Can't get in here. Mm, go up from the bottom. Probably how you do it on this 20. Yeah, stack on the portal now. Okay. Okay, just take us a 10 set here, 135. Need us. That's gets the ten. Okay, Patrick takes a 10 set. Do we see Riedel or Leona? Go for it. I 
feel like I'm very close now. <clears throat> All right, real takes a 10. Yeah, I'm not close yet. <laughs> yeah, with six players all alive, there's just slightly too many blocks to address. Okay, Patrick's setting. Action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty ish. Twenty one. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. Thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty. I don't quite have it yet still. I mean, with Lena 77, we're just waiting for her to go smack. Smack, smack, smack. Would I be happier with a big stack? <sighs> this is <laughs> Driz loves the 69 meme. All right. 
Leave us not doing it. 90 stack. Oh, she is doing it. All right, here we go. Does Lena get the win? Lena fails. Patrick probably wins before my next turn, so it's that's game either way, I'm pretty sure. But let's see if she gets it. Maybe she hits Patrick super hard. What are we at? 40%. To punch through one of my 20. Split. 46, 47. I'm going to lose a 20 here. That's not the end of the world. Uh, that's not the end of the world, but I think Patrick still just wins the game if she doesn't take it. So 53 looks good. Split. Do I lose another 20? 56. Good enough. That's game. Yeah, GG Lena. There you go. Who knew one big stack takes it down? All right, folks, that's game one. Uh, we're going to be playing winner advances for, for game two, game three. So uh, I'm going to pause the recording now, but uh, we are we are down. That was fun. It was good. I, I felt a bit slow. A lot of waiting for an eventual 70 rush. Maybe progressive would have fixed that. Uh, but yeah, we, we will be right back. Uh, for YouTube, but uh, if you're on Twitch, I will come back to say hello.